Hi, it's Mike at Phase 1 DJ Store. It's arrived. The highly, highly anticipated FBT CS1000 system. Now, I don't like normally doing this type of video because it's a speaker and you're not going to be able to get to listen to it. But, it's a bit of a unique animal, this. So, we're going to do a bit of an unboxing video to see what's in the box. And we're going to put it together. Um, obviously, we can put it on. But you're not going to be able to get the sound quality over on a video. So you need to come to the shop. So let's unbox it. Alright, who spotted it then? Mm. Put the top on upside down, didn't I? But I have to put it the right way around now. Right, that's why I don't like doing unboxing videos. I never know what I'm doing. And I don't read instructions. But, that came together and went all out of that box brilliantly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera off the stand. I'm going to show you some close-ups of this unit. Um, but I was really chuffed the way that came out of the box. Everything was there as it was supposed to be, apart from me, like a Charlie, put the top on upside down. Um, but let's set the camera, bring it in a little bit closer. What we got here? This thing is small, it's compact, it's very portable, it goes together beautifully. I like the fact that we can put the whole thing back inside the compartment of the back, which I'm going to give you a close-up. Couple of specs, 1000 watts RMS, it's uh, claiming. And also we have got a SPL of 125 dB and a max SPL of 129. And out of a box like that, that is epic. The amplifier is in the back of the unit, we're going to take close to that. What I like about this whole system is it's very much like the other Virtus that we've sold in the past. Everything clips together and all the bits that clip together and make it work are quality. They're even down to the little pins of where we can angle things, and I'm going to take photos as well, how we can angle the top bit, how everything slots in is precision. This is a quality item. From the moment you get it out of the box, you're like, mm-hmm, yeah, this is going to work. Coming to the back of the unit here, right, we've got a speak-on connector, and the, the, it comes with a speak-on lead that comes from out the back of here and up to the top. You'll see that there's all kinds of little grooves and plates on the back. These can, you, if you had two systems, you can join two tops together, you could stack the bins. It, this is very much like its bigger brother, which is the Vertus we've been selling for a long time. The CS1000 inherits a lot of the modular ways things clip together. One thing I did like about the original Vertus was the fact that you could add to it so we could clip two tops together with some dummy risers involved. It, it, the, band, the, the bins stacked very well. This is its little brother, um, sound, obviously we're gonna, we are going to put it on and have a listen, but I do encourage you to come down the shop to have a listen. This is punching well above its weight. It shouldn't be delivering as much sound as this, but it does. Also, with the FBT stuff, um, and it is in a lot of their products, this is a threaded pole, which splits down as you saw when I was getting it out of the box. Let's split that down there. Let's talk about the amplifier on the back. So the amplifier is on the back of the unit. I'm going to do some close-ups again, we'll do some camera shots. Your little speak-on connectors there. Like I say, this top slides in, there's little grooves for this to sit in. So the little grooves on the top of here slots into there. It's not going to fall out. Uh, we'll do, again, I'll take some close-ups. But what I've always liked 
with the FBT range of stuff is you come to the back of it and it's just simple. It just works. Because you've got all these little presets. We've got original, live, vocal, loudness, DJ, DJ boost, monitor, wall. Trust me, if there isn't something there you like, I will eat my hat. Because every time I've had an FBT product and they get the presets, they get them right. So it's dead easy to set up. We've got an XLR in and we've got an XLR out to link. So if we're going to go in at one and can link out of the systems. Uh, we've got a little button here, which I might have to read the instructions for. Because we've got a array on, array off. I'm going to guess that if that is if we were connecting more and more tops together. I'm not sure. I might have to read the instructions on that one. And we've got our volume. And we've got nice and simple. 0 dB. Shown clearly marked. Just works. We can adjust the level of, I believe, that, that's the sub level. Now that's what I like that. Right? Again, I've not read any instructions. So we do it with Mikey. Right? We can adjust the sub level and we can adjust the, the level of the top. So if it's a bit boomy, you know, at smaller events, we're going to be able to trim it back. We'll be able to turn the top up. I like that. I never realised it did that. That's really cool. I like the fact we can adjust the volume across the two. Right. I'm going to take the camera off the stand. I'm going to show you some close-ups. Oh, also, let me just show you the little bag that was inside here. Right. So the little bag fits in the, the pole and the, uh, the adapter. I'm just going to do a bit of a close-up with this as well. Right. This has got like a little pull-out thing, so you slot it on the back and it clips in. You can adjust the angle of this as well. And it locks into place, you just pull a little pin in. So you pull that pin out there, just the angle. I just think it's been worth the wait. It has been highly, highly anticipated. It sounds fantastic. You need to come to the shop and have a listen. We're based up in Darlington in the northeast. Uh, I always say, yeah, we like to sell a lot of things online and a lot of things over the telephone. When it comes to sound, you need to listen to it. And trust me, this sounds fantastic. Right, so an interesting little angle I've got here. Just got the base bin up on an angle. I like to say there's this storage compartment in the back of here. You can maybe see where the speak on connects as well now. And you can see the amp unit. I did have a look in the instructions and the array button is for when if you were going to stack two bins and you can connect these using a bracket that doesn't come with so you can connect two of these together you can see the back plates doesn't come with a bracket to connect them and you can actually get them where you can also it'll angle as well uh, I would what we'll do is we'll try and show some pictures of that from some specs in the video as well so what we'll do is pop that in there like that so that all fits in that's got the poles and the cables and um, the speak on to go from one to the other. You'll see there's grooves here, there's grooves here as well, and there's a little slot there, so it just slot in just like a little draw system. That's it. That is your system in one. Just think that that is proper, proper neat. Well, well thought out. Beautifully made. Sounds stunning. Am I happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that, all right. I think this will do a room of, you know, a pair, so two of these systems, 150, 200 people, no problem. Um, comes in weight-wise, oh, now there's something I didn't check, hold the board. So, reading the instruction manual, like you do, 30 kilos, so it's not stupidly heavy, it's a whole system, it's base and top, fantastic. Right, so show you here now with this angle how we can have this tilted so that's going vertical up just clips into place we've got another position there we've actually got a position that's angled up which you may use if you had a if you were playing to an audience and it was in like a an auditorium type situation that's straight up and down and then what we've also got here is that last set in there where it's angled down. So that bracket is really, really cool. Okay, just the last bit of this video. What we're going to do is I'm going to give you the measurements. I'm going to get my tape measure out. 
So the little top, that is a 53 centimetres. This is all approximate, 53 centimetres. And we've got the height of the bin. Height of the bin from the floor to the top of it. Uh, 49 centimetres, well no, actually 48 centimetres. Left to right, from the front of the bin, we've got 57 centimetres. Uh, front to back of the bin, we've got 44 centimetres. And I'll tell you what we'll do, let's see if we can maybe measure what height that is at. Uh, I'll go put that at the bottom. And this again will be a, an estimate. That I've got there, and again, approximate 220 centimetres. So you can see, tower's right above me, so you get a really good height on it, which means you get a really good throw. And if you've never used this type of speaker before, these are rare type systems, these sticks type systems. The dispersion of the sound is epic, because you get a much wider dispersion out of a smaller driver. This thing, very, very pleased with it. I've said it a few times in this video, uh, come and have a listen, and if you want some more information, click the link in the description to this video and it'll take you through to our website. It's Mike at Phase 1. Thank you very much.